Everybody wants clean water. It's important for people to drink. It's important for ag producers. It's important for wildlife, the beauty around here. That's why we all come here. As time has changed and our uses have changed, recreation certainly is very, very dependent on water, whether you're in a reservoir, whether you're going down the river in a raft. The pressures from urbanization, from municipal use in cities. So we have to rethink how we use water. We can't just do it like we did 100 years ago. In this headwater area, like a lot of the a lot of similar areas in Colorado, this is a source water for eight major rivers coming out of the state, most of which are on federal land and land managed by the Forest Service. So it's a, a big footprint from these forests. It's a watershed, it's a catchment, and whatever happens in the catchment affects what actually ultimately gets in the stream and moves down the stream. And so it's important that we manage these forests to maintain clean water that ultimately is stored on the land, released into base flows and provides clean water for all. I'm Ed Zink. I live on a Colorado Centennial Ranch. We support a significant ag community here north of Durango. The health of this water that comes out of the Hermosa and the Animas River watersheds, it's pretty significant to the whole region. I'm Mark Denning and I'm the manager of Big Creek Ranch since 2002. A lot of this area has been affected 80-90% beetle kill. Fire has always been here. It's always been part of the landscape. And it's hard to know the role between the beetles, climate change. You get into these droughts. Nothing will grab people's attention more than having water supplies damaged by wildfires. We're not used to wildfires here. We've always called this the asbestos forest. Maybe some of our past practices of putting out every fire, that wasn't such a good thing. Maybe had some smaller fires burned throughout over the last century, we would have less larger scale fires. This 416 fire that we've had here close to Durango, it primarily burned in the Hermosa drainage, a tributary to the Animas River. The silt from the 416 fire killed all the fish in the Hermosa Creek. Lots of silt in our irrigation ditches, lots of debris flows. We're having to clean them and rebuild structures that were damaged from flash floods. So we're on the Medicine Bow National Forest. Beaver Creek fire started June 19th, 2016. It burned all through the summer. And so there are times it would pick up and run and there's times it lay down. The locals come out and the press comes out. And there's a lot of activity. And then once the fire burns down, pretty much everybody goes home and goes their own way, and we're kind of stuck with what's left the residue. The more of that watershed that burned at high severity, the more changes in erosion you're going to get, the more you're going to get changes in stream nutrients coming out. The more severe those fires are, the longer those wildfire effects will last. And in many ways for agriculture, the rains and the flash floods are worse than the fire itself. The cost of the impact can be devastating and can put people out of business. It kind of brings people's awareness to source water protection and the important role of sound land management for protecting watersheds and the delivery of water to downstream users. We need to be involved in the planning and the management of public land to ensure that it's being managed to get the maximum water production we can get. I mean, we're a long way from the urban corridor of the Front Range. You're in neighboring states that take advantage of this water. Having them remember where their water's coming from, the snowpack through these forest watersheds, and kind of make that connection so that they will support the idea of sound management and conservation in these headwater areas for sustained water quality. If you aren't there, you can't be part of the solution. We've got to take that seriously and be sure that our agriculture point of view is at the table and being heard. Our lives, our businesses, our future depend on this water.